I know I'm usually all like crazy pumped at this point, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I've, I've been quite ill this week. I've had a crazy amount of, of limited sleep, of limited health, just a cold. I think I'm overdoing it a little bit. Yeah, dramatic effects and all that. Luckily, there's actually a heater by here, which you guys can't see, so it's, it's not that bad. <coughs> and part of the reason I feel like this, and I know that everyone watching can relate to, at least in some way, is the juggle. The struggle, the like, the like, struggle juggle of doing something, doing the nine to five, something that pays the bills, and the doing the work that you really want to do. Um, and I, you know, I, I guess that's why you guys are here, really, isn't it? And that's good. You're definitely in the right place. Me and Dave were working insane hours last week, trying to get a film we were making all wrapped up. It's called the Creative Block. Yes. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. You might want to check it out if you want to. Boom, plugged. It's currently on 22 views, so big numbers coming in. And yeah, talking of Dave, he just left me this week with all these balloons. He's gone on holiday or something. I haven't been on holiday at all recently. What? What am I supposed to do with all that? Hmm. This is where you're at, at the moment. Um, you've just finished watching this little sequence here. I, I want to put in more clips. I really, really do because there's so much other good films, but there's just not enough room in that little sequence. But yeah, loads of really other good stuff. So well done, guys. So a big congratulations to Dom and his team of filmmakers, Ben and Sarah, and a few others of course, but, but, but they were just the ones I spoke to. Another really worthy winner, a really solid narrative for one minute, and an ending that really genuinely did scare the out of me. And to the runners up, Spooky Bonus, which I think is a filmmaking duo, and Luke Margot, both very different films. One, one that's a little more humorous with a twist in the middle, uh, and the other more of a cinematic, serious sort of horror thing. But yeah, all in all, everyone, very good. <coughs> Come on, Sam, keep pulling through. See, that's, that's the thing that is actually so insane about these competitions, is the insane range of stuff. I know I say this every time, but each idea is so unique to the filmmaker, and I think just as a collective, as a group, it's, it's very beautiful to see. I've just had an idea to try and bring more of the shortlisted films into the video. And, and there are actually more shortlisted too, but I couldn't fit them on. But there is a lot. I mean, this is the thing. This is the thing, like 380 odd entries. <sighs> Trying to think, get everyone included is difficult. But to be honest, it, it doesn't even matter if in your film's on one of the balloons or not. You did this for you and your own experience and your own practice. So, don't worry about the shortlist. But, but well done to the people who did get the shortlist, because that's pretty cool as well. We need a bigger wall of balloons. And I think the other thing with competitions is, these winning films are based on one person's opinion. Filmmaking is subjective, so, you know, different judge on a different day, different, different brief. 
everything's different. Just keep doing, keep practicing, keep making, and that's the real winning. <coughs> oh. And today, this is the winner announcement room. This is my favorite part. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey, Hello. how are we doing? Is that Dom? Yeah. Here we got. You know, we saw almost 400 entries and uh, I know that one minute was crazy. Like once the contest kicked off and I started seeing some of the submissions coming in, I was like, oh my God, we needed more than 60 seconds. Mm. But when I saw your thing, it was, for one, I felt it was the most original one. It was super concise. It didn't need any more time. It embraced everything that this contest was. It was about the filmmaking process, and I almost saw it as a metaphor for when we film stuff. If, if my girlfriend doesn't eat at a certain time, she becomes like, just like Sarah. So, <laughs> so I just saw it. I just saw it. This is a metaphor for the crew being pissed off if they're not getting fed on time. So I, I thought that was really funny. And, and, and then the, the fact that at the end, it was about, it was still horror and comedy. It had everything. And I think that's why, you know, without a doubt, you guys, you guys won the contest. That's it, I'll take it. I, I thought you guys, uh, you guys killed it. You guys should be proud. It was uh, really cool. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Cin cinematography was, was super clever. I love the changing aspect ratios. I love the lighting. Sarah was great. Thank you. You know, she she truly looked confused and pissed off and everything. It was, it was, it was super, it was, I loved it. It was, again. <laughs> what happens if you throw a fork at a balloon wall? Sick. All right, folks, that's it for me. The next competition goes live on Monday, and I'm actually really excited about this one. You're gonna need a lot of patience, a lot of precision, but yeah, it's gonna be good. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Feels weird without the music. Mm.